Hi, welcome to Quick Tips for Better Sewing with Jill Haggerty at Independent Clothing Initiative. Why did I point to myself? I am so excited that you're here today because we are talking about the serger. I love that the inside of any garment can look just as beautiful as the outside. I am sure this is something you have either been thinking about for a long time or you finally purchased. Congratulations! And it makes you nervous. It's a daunting machine. Threading it is not like threading the regular sewing machine. But don't worry, I've got your back. Today we're talking about five tips that will help make threading your serger easier for you. Let's go. Serger Threading Tips 101. Step one. Until you get the hang of it, you should always have your manual close by. I, for probably the first 70, I have no idea, you guys. That seems high. For the first many, many, many times, used my manual every single time that I did my serger. So I just would open it up. Um, typically I'm doing four threads, but they also show in your manual how to do two and three threads uh, for different kinds of projects. So I have it on my lap as I'm threading and it makes it so much easier to follow the guidelines, the pictures, to help me get to the finish line. It does take a while, but you're not gonna get better if you don't do it. Step two. That looks like I'm doing something. Okay. Step two. Unthread and rethread your serger many, many, many times. Maybe pick a day and just make it all about your serger. Thread it, unthread it. Thread it, unthread it. It just helps you become more confident and feel like if something messes up, no problem, I can just rethread my machine. This is what I teach my students um, in all of my sewing camps. To thread and rethread their machine until they feel comfortable and proficient. This will help you so you don't have to look at your manual quite so many times. Just do it. The more you do it, the easier it becomes. Step three. Use those tweezers. And I'm not talking about for your eyebrows or your mustache hair. Using tweezers makes it so much easier to pull the thread through the needle and the other small parts of the serger where the thread is required to move through. If you lose them, you can just buy another pair at any local grocery store. Any tweezers will do. Step four. Wet your needle or the space you're trying to go through instead of your thread. This helps your thread to focus and get in that hole and makes it so much easier to run your thread through. Try it, it works. Again, I'm wetting the needle instead of my thread. Like magic. Check your needles as well as your cutting blade found here for sharpness. If your fabric isn't cutting or you're having trouble and thread is breaking or 
you're unable to get your fabric through your serger, always check the needles and check the cutting blade to see if they need to be replaced. And it's also always a good idea to open up your serger, check for lint, and clean it out every now and then. That's it! She is ready to sew. I hope you enjoyed today's quick tips about how to get running and going with your serger. And if you have any tips about how you conquered your serger, please leave them in the comment section below. We can all learn from each other. Until next time.